Hello, welcome to Perfectly Mediocre. We're jumping back into Traveler's Rest where I've been playing a few days off screen. I saw that you were perfect, and so I loved you. But now I realize it was all just smoke and mirrors. Was... Alright, so I feel like I've made some kind of major progress, but that could be just my impression, you know, based on my own past experiences. Um, I, I feel like I'm really moving ahead here. I have two gold up there, if you notice, which is pretty awesome for me. I have figured out how to make fruit juice, which is great. We've got some coconut juice and some of this berry juice going on. It's been very popular. And we did manage to get some barley planted and growing, so we've got some um, more alcohol going. Um, which, by the way, is currently completely wiped out. I do have some that I just put in the aging barrel the night before, but as you can see, everything is empty. Actually, we, we have some juice now, so we can go ahead and put some of that in. Um, we have tea. I would really love to get another barrel because I'm making so many things that go in the barrel, but not into the tap. So first things first is out here. I was finally able to get these all lined up across the back. Um, I had a tree that was in the way, and so now it's all organized and all well and good. We have our bins here, which I'm, or chests, which I am trying to figure out the best way that I would like to organize them. I kind of wish that the three of these craft areas had a combined sort of chest, because that would make my life a little easier. But I am trying to figure out if I'm going to have to actually buy a barrel, or if I can make one at some point. Um, things are definitely different now, you know, like we used to be able to order here and we can't. So I'm not quite sure what to expect. Um, and then as you can see down here, we've got a bit of a garden going. And it's, whoops, I gotta learn to line it up properly. And I've had it going for several days now, and so we've got a lot of things that we're able to harvest. I've been focusing on hops and grains, but also some of the ingredients that I need for different dishes. When it comes to ingredients that I need for dishes, I, I'm supposed to be doing six. I keep forgetting that I did these in groups of 12, but I'm doing five right now, but it will be six of an ingredient. When it comes to hops and grains, I'm doing t 10 to 12 of an ingredient within those areas. I've also started to organize all of the sprouts from the trees, planting them in nice regular rows to make it easier later on for gathering. Now, because we just harvested all of that, I'm gonna head into town and gather up some more seeds. What I am curious, and I look at this, um, obviously we go there for the seeds, where do I find ingredients? It always seems like we only have seeds available. Is it possible to buy the already made or finished items? I was able to get some things like the yeast from the bartender, but I'm, I'm only seeing seeds. And my understanding was that we were supposed to be able to buy everything if we needed to. I did purchase barley and wheat the last time. Those have both been planted. Um, I don't think... Yeah. I think the barley are the ones we just harvested. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up 12 of those just to make sure. And I've got cauliflower and carrots going. Maybe we can get some cucumber. And um, maybe a little garlic. I don't think that's something I have yet. I did get lettuce and onion because those are specific to things that I have um, like in the actual menu that I can work with. So, um, and maybe some tomato. And it's kind of nice being able to buy all of that and have enough. Um, I'm also going to probably pick up a bit of meat. I do know that I need to get around to fishing. 
I will, I promise, it'll happen eventually. Um, I'd like to practice the fishing a bit in my extra save. My, I, I guess we consider it the old save, the stumble in, but I also have an, an additional one to that. Um, okay, we can't buy that much. Let's get some pork. Be oh, we can't even afford the pork. Never mind. I do want to find out how much a barrel would cost us. Um, I know she doesn't usually have it, but I want to see what else is available as well. Um, I did buy some things. So we have like the cat, um, the cat bowl. We have an additional table. Um, well, actually I made the table. Uh, let's see. I think we'll show off everything that we have when we get back to the tavern. Okay, a keg would cost us five gold. Yikes. That's gonna take a while to earn. I did buy a big chest, which I have in the kitchen. That was a big purchase, but I like having everything all together in the kitchen. Um, for my organization purposes, it's so much easier. Let's go ahead and plant what we got here. Alright, so there's the third table that I made. I think I forgot to point that out earlier. And there's the nice big chest. Which, I, I'm assuming these buttons are new, but they are amazing. I love it. I am so glad to have it. And being able to sort like this is also so nice. All right, we're gonna get some more stuff going. I know that we technically, um, the variety needs to come in the, um, the types of dishes that we're doing until things start to grow. I can't do much about that. We do have some wheat grain now, so we'll get that going. And that means we can now make some amber ale. So we can finally have a little variety. Okay, I think this is still gonna be unaged, yeah. Um, and I don't think we can add, oh, we can actually add a little more to it. And I think we'll put this in here for now, just to get that going while the other stuff is <laughs> cooking, if you will. Um, I'm going to open and get some money, even though we don't have anything on tap. We do have the keg with the juice, which as I said, was really popular. And I've been bringing in the gold with that stuff. Also, thank you for the comment about being able to clean the tables even when they're not visibly dirty. It has helped so much with not only my time management, but my reputation. Being able to keep the tables as clean as possible. Oops, I didn't grab as many as I thought I did. Um, being able to keep the tables as clean as possible has actually made guests generally more helpful or happy. And it's also meant, um, strangely enough, that I do occasionally seem to get more of the cranky customers though. I don't, that makes no sense, I know. That's opposite of what I just said, but generally I'm getting higher ranking from reputation, but I have more customers who get angry um, like this. There we go. But I am having an easier time of calming down. I don't know if it's just getting used to it, um, you know, getting more familiar with the buttons. Um, I will admit that I, I do better off camera. I say this all the time and I know like no one believes it, but um, there's, when I'm not focused on speaking and doing other things, um, I do seem much more Oop, there we go. Um, much more like able to pay attention to what I'm doing. I had thought that I was making one of these bigger tables, but honestly, this kind of works out fine as it is anyway, because of that being where everybody orders. So it worked out. They do feel like they've been messier than before the update. I'd spend a lot more time cleaning than I used to. See, and as you can see, angry customers. 
one advantage to only having one drink available is that I can kind of queue up a lot more easily. But I do know that they like the variety. And maybe that's why my customers are so darn angry all the time. I did have a situation yesterday in game where the cat was behind the bar and every time I tried to click on a customer I was clicking on the cat instead. That got kind of frustrating. <laughs> I basically have this policy of clean the tables every time I deliver something to one of them. Um, and I try to do that as much as possible. But I still have a couple times when it actually gets dirty. Ooh, one left. I think we'll close after the last one there. Oh, forgot about the fire. All right, last call. We probably do have more juice in the kitchen, but I think it's about a proper time to go ahead and wrap things up. They make such a mess as they leave every time. All right, we have enough time to check on our kitchen. Um, okay, we need water for that. Um, we'll go ahead and make a chicken steak. Ew. Um, and I'm gonna make some oil just because I wanted to have some of that on hand and then I think we'll do a little more barley. And let's see, we need the water. I'm gonna go ahead and refill the water. We've got time, it's relatively early. I've been on average closing the tavern at like right around two o'clock in the morning so we've been cutting it close i guess with the whole three o'clock thing but i've been doing pretty well with it i think i haven't been forced to sleep yet all right i think we'll make more of this and then i want to check on what we've got downstairs That's still considered unaged. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out so I can put that in though. And we'll get the cat some water and head back to sleep. All right, a fresh new morning. Let's get some, let's get some meat broth going. Um, I think I'll make some coconut today. And we'll do wheat. And, oh, we have a choice. Well, we can mix it up a little bit, I guess. We have some empty buckets, so I'll go ahead and fill those shortly.
wait another day. Let's first check on our cellar. It literally took all day to get all of that other stuff done. Um, we're gonna toss all of this. Oh, it's two different types, apparently. Wheat hops, aroma hops. Oh, it's barley, okay. I was trying to figure out what the difference was between them. <laughs> okay, these are slightly aged, so it's enough that we can actually serve it. And I think today is going to be a, like, mostly tend to everything kind of day. Um, and then we will, uh, you know, make money kind of day. And then next time we come back, it's going to be, you know, like a chance to go into town and do some shopping because I suspect that we'll have a bit of income by that point. Let's go ahead and open up. My dream would be able to get to five gold and be able to buy another barrel here so that we can have... Lots of drink options, but I don't see that happening in one day. Especially at this stage in our tavern. I don't even know that I'd gotten that far with... Um, oh my goodness, you just got here. I don't know if I'd gotten that far with um, Stumble In, so... I've been playing that one for a while. <laughs> I do think this time around um, there will be more of those times where I go and play um, not recorded in order to kind of get to different parts of what's happening and show off more. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm gonna chase you as far as I have to. What the heck? Why is everyone so mad about this tavern? Nobody likes the red. Has anyone ordered the red one? Oh my goodness. Is it just me or are we having like an excessive amount of angry people? I don't feel like I'm doing anything particularly wrong. If any- oh, there- finally somebody ordered the red one. I feel like if anything, I've been kind of doing better, especially with- <laughs> oh, another angry person? This is ridiculous. Tell me this is some kind of bug or something. Or if I am doing something wrong um, and completely missing it, let me know so I can keep an eye out for it because I don't know. This is really weird. See, there's another one. It's like excessively more than I had before. Which makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I'm... Like I said, I feel like if anything, I've been doing more right than usual. Okay, I'll give you that the tables got dirty there, but I don't know that it was necessary to get angry about it. It was only dirty for like a second. How did that table get dirty? Didn't I just clean that table? Maybe I didn't. I don't think I got that far. I mean, I guess part of what's confusing me is because my reputation is going up way faster. Um, I was gaining like a reputation level a day kind of a thing, despite the fact that I had so many angry customers and so it just didn't make sense to me that I have so many angry customers. <laughs> You know, that idea of making five gold in one day isn't feeling so crazy right about now. We're up to almost four already. You know, you can't complain about being the pits and then 
drop crap right behind you. That's just rude. Okay, we're getting a line up here. I need three green and a red. And a purple. Oh, I don't have another red. Sorry about the wait on that one. I'm coming to get the table. Oh my goodness. Okay, like I normally don't condone hitting customers, but the way this has been, <laughs> I'm totally for it. They're a bit excessive. Especially when they'll complain about the dirt as they literally drop stuff behind them. I think we could actually hit five. If we do, I'm totally buying a barrel. I mean, it'll be like all of our profits, but I don't care because I want the barrel, darn it. Excuse me, I'm gonna wash tables because everyone is a bunch of slobs around here. Pigs are neater. What the? Was there a red one on that table too? <laughs> Or did I just not fully pull that drink? Alright, can I restock here? Oh yeah. Nothing there. Okay. We're fully stocked again. As much as we can be anyway. They really like the broth. I've had enough of it. This is ridiculous. It's only seven. It's it's not even like, you know, they should be all that, you know, drunken or whatever and feeling really belligerent. This is like just a bunch of Karens coming in this place lately. No offense to Karens. All right, 10 p.m. I think I'm gonna make it last call because we've hit the five gold that I thought we would never hit. And also, um, I'm kind of tired of frustrating customers right now, especially the ones that want to call us a cultist. Urgh. All right, that is, and we made it to reputation five. I think that was a pretty solid end to um, a bit of an interesting episode, I guess. I, uh, oh my goodness, the mess they're leaving again. What is it with these customers now? They're just the worst. I don't know, are, are you experiencing the same thing or am I just super lucky? I, maybe I'm just noticing it more because I don't have my magic broom. I don't know. Um, either way, I'm losing my voice. I gotta go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider taking a moment to paw that like button comment to share your thoughts, and subscribe for more mediocre content like this. Until next time, remember, you are perfect just the way you are. I saw that you were perfect, and so I loved you. But now I realize it was all just smoke and mirrors. I was blinded by the lights, caught up in a fantasy. I saw that you were perfect, but you're not what you see.